two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. guys we made it to Utah and we are here for the next 12 days to hike Utah's mighty five national parks Bryce Zion Canyonlands Capitol Reef and Arches plus we're gonna take a look at some of the state parks and other recreation areas as well that we'd love to share with you guys we're really tired from a long day of driving but our mission for tomorrow morning is to get up early for a sunrise hike and we invite you to come along with us yeah, the next time you guys see us, you actually may not see us because it'll be dark out tomorrow morning. But for now, it's time to go to bed and go to sleep. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Good morning guys we have made it to our first stop in utah's mighty five national parks and you're never going to guess where we're at <laughs> we're at arches national park this is delicate arch it is the most iconic one in the entire park and probably in the entire world we're going to show you around here and then after that what are we going to do paula we're going to hike back to the car and we're going to see all the things we couldn't see this morning in the dark let's go let's go I've already got this zoomed in three times the normal size. I'm gonna zoom in some more to show you the one climb that's on this route. This is nine times. Maybe you can see some of the people climbing up that rock side there. It's actually really cool, but in the dark, it's kind of hard to navigate. If we didn't have our all trails map, we definitely would not have made it. So we're almost back to the trailhead, to the parking lot where our car is. We're gonna grab a snack and then continue on. Um, Paula, what did you think about this start to our trip and this you know, delicate arch? It was amazing. It, uh, I've seen many pictures of it, but I just wasn't expecting it to be so big, so beautiful. Uh, it was awe-inspiring. It really was. It was kind of, it kind of blew you away when you rounded the corner yeah. and there it was. And right. It was a pretty amazing sight to see this morning and a great start to our trip. Um, so we're going to grab a snack and then what's up next? I think we're going to head over to the Devil's Garden Trail. Yeah, I think there's a whole bunch of arches on that particular trail. We'll tell you a little bit more about it when we get there. For now, let's go get something to eat. Let's go. Well, hey there, guys. We made it to Devil's Garden Trail. It's a 7.8 mile out and back. And there are eight named arches that we're going to be able to show you on this trail. Let's go. Let's go.
continues up the head. This national park is known for its namesake, all the arches, but it's also home to amazing views of the mountains in the distance, uh, lots of ledges to walk on and climb, wonderful overlooks and viewpoints, um, towering walls, and unique rock formations scattered throughout the park. several arches and they have just been beautiful now there have been some areas which have been a little scary to me because they've been up on high ledges and drop-offs on uh, both sides and there was one area that Jimmy went out on that I just couldn't do so there is that yeah, and every time we got to a new arch, we were like, wow, this is so cool. This is my new favorite. And we were like, you've already said that seven or eight times so far. But each one of them was unique and different and brings a different, um, different element of beauty that the other ones didn't have. Some were long and skinny. Some were tall. Some had um, unique rock formations surrounding them. Some of them had just the right lighting. And so every one of them was a little bit different and certainly worth seeing. We still, got, we still got a few more to see, so we'll see you on down the trail. Let's go. Let's go. We pulled off the road for just a minute to see Skyline Arch and drove on down to our next stop to take a short hike to see three more, Sand Dune Arch, Broken Arch, and Tapestry Arch. It will be a little less than a three mile round trip to see all three. So this morning when we headed out at 5 a.m. for our hike, there was one thing on my mind at least, and that was at the end of the day where we were going to eat. Paula, where are we at? Quesadilla Mobilla. Let's show them what we got to eat. Okay, I got the enchanted chicken, and it is a huge quesadilla stuffed with chicken, green peppers, red peppers, cheese, looks yummy. 
And then Jimmy got the plain cheese. So his is just all cheese. Lots of cheesy goodness. <laughs> A little messy, but delicious. Delicious as well. The thing is thick and filled with yummy. Along with it, we had some chips and salsa and then some... Chipotle lime sour cream. Mmm. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> Look at all this cheese in here. Now that we've got some good food in us, we are back at the park to see some more arches and hopefully a sunset. Yeah, there are over 2,000 arches in Arches National Park, which is the largest concentration in the entire world. And we just haven't seen enough of them in one day. Right. Let's go. Let's go. wraps up our day at Arches National Park and it was amazing. We saw so many things. We're just blown away. We're not expecting it to be as cool as it was here and I hope the videos just show just a fraction of what it was really like. There's still so many things that we would like to do here and maybe we'll have time later in the week. If not, we will definitely check it out our next time. Well, that's it for us guys. What's your mission? And then we're gonna, we're gonna do all the other videos. I just think that's a good idea. Paula, I think we found our tiny house. <laughs> well, hey guys, we made it to Devil's Garden Trail. It's a seven point out. I can't even talk now. We have finished the Devil's Garden Trail. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Do we know what it's called? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs>